Hello ladies and gentlemen, Destiny here from Desfix. Today we are building an advanced blogging app with Django, Tailwind CSS, HTMX and Alpine.js. If you're new to Django or if you love learning by doing real world projects, then you are in the right place. This video is sponsored by Desfix. Do you want to master how to code like a pro, build real world projects, ace your interviews and land dev jobs like it's nothing? With Desfix, we make you focus on learning what's important while building real world projects and then we also ask assign you a professional developer as a mentor so that you never get stuck. To get started, head over to desfix.io and pick your stack. Follow our step-by-step -step beginner friendly videos, then tackle a real world coding challenge that matches what you're currently learning on your stack. And when you're done building the real world projects, instantly validate your work using our coding challenge validator tool. Then take practice tests to make sure that you lock in your new skills. If you ever get stuck, just call or text your mentor. They'll hit you back in another five minutes, which is a record breaking response time. All you have to do right now is pick your stack, get locked in and let's dive in. Use the coupon code DESFIX to get 50% off your learning parts today. Back to the tutorial. You'll learn how to set up Django and Tailwind CSS with HTMX and Alpine.js. Then we'll go ahead and structure our database models, build robust authentications, and even create a full CRUD system. And you'll also learn how to add features for comments, like, bookmarks, notifications, and even everything that you need for blog post management, including creating of profiles, editing of profiles, and even creating and editing of blog posts. We'll walk through every line of code and logic that we'll be using so that you see exactly how it all works under the hood. And if you want the best project-based tutorial for your real world skills, this is it. We'll be using Desfix tutorial with step learning tool so that you can learn at your own pace, bookmark sections, and even modules, and then take notes, make reference easily whenever you need them. And then we're also going to use the Desfix coding challenge tool to validate this project as soon as we are done building it. And the Desfix coding challenge tool will grade you based on efficiency, functionality, and creativity. It also gives constructive feedback so that you can know where to improve and what to do next. I'm very pumped to get started so without any further ado let's jump in hi guys welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing a quick demo of what we'll be building throughout this tutorial so all the tools that we'll be using django tailwind css htmx and alpine which are cutting edge technologies you will see all of them in action and where we use them throughout this demo video so let's get started you can immediately see that we have a nice looking ui over here and all this were built using Tailwind CSS, which is a utility first CSS framework that enables you to build beautiful UIs without breaking a sweat. So we've got all this over here, highly structured, highly laid out, and it's also responsive. So if we are to quickly view this on mobile, I'm just going to do a quick hack over here to view it on mobile. I'm just going to drag down my browser like this. And as you can see, it's looking highly, highly responsive on mobile and it looks really, really peeled. As you can see, everything is laid out perfectly well using Tailwind CSS. Then after that, we hopped over to Django and then we started using Django to create items in the database and also list them out onto the templates that we created using Tailwind CSS. Over here, you can see posts. Now this first one over here is the most viewed post followed by popular posts. Then you've got hot peaks over here. Then you've also got trending categories recent posts and if you scroll down you can also see hand-picked posts which are the featured posts then you can see posts related to the technology category so this is basically how our blog application looks on a base level you can go ahead and add more things to this you could change things up you could totally tweak it to whatever you want but I believe that with this, you should be able to get started with your professional blog app and not only get started with a professional blog app, you also, you will also be able to build a full stack application and see how and what building a full stack application entails and what it is in general. So this is just a post list. Let's quickly hop over to the post detail page. Here's the post detail page. You can immediately see the title over here and you can see the title overlaid on the background image looking very good. You can also see our categories by the side and some dummy 
boost that I made over here so that we can see something to gaze our eyes on. Then over here, you can see that we've got a couple of features. We've got the feature to dislike this post. We've also got this feature over here to bookmark a post. You can see the dates it was created, its total views, and how many minutes it would take to read this particular post. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can also see the comment system over here. You can see the form to create a new comment, the button, and all the comments that have been created over here. But now we won't be able to create comments till we get authenticated. So for us to do that, quickly click on the login link over here. If you already have an account, go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account, you can register a new account. So over here in the registration page, I'm just going to quickly fill up this form over here. And all I need to do now is hit register. Now, as soon as we hit register, we used HTMX to make a call to Django. And then we used Appine.js to actually change this button to say processing. This way, your application will be fully dynamic and you'll be able to get requests efficiently, handle errors gracefully, and basically change your UIs dynamically so that everything feels smooth, everything feels modern and very snappy. All right, there you go. We just created a new account and it brought us to the login page. Now, all you just need to do is log in with the credentials that you just got while creating a new account. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my credentials, desktop at gmail.com and my password, testing 301 Then I'll quickly log in. And as you can see, the login also works just like the register. Everything feels smooth. Everything feels responsive and very snappy. All right, there you go. You can see that we've successfully logged in. As soon as you log in, you can see that the header over here changed from login to logout, which means you can now go ahead and log out from your account, which means you're successfully authenticated. Now, all we'll have to do is just open up this again. As soon as we get back here, can you see that it automatically detected that I've liked this post before? And now it's showing like and it's showing a blue thumbs up button. Does that make sense? You can go ahead and click on this and that's where you immediately unlike the post. Can you see? Click it to like, click it to unlike, and this is very fast and snappy. Same thing happens for the bookmark. As soon as you click, can you see? It shows that it's bookmarked. When you click again, it unbookmarks it. And all this persists on page reload, which means if for any reason the user leaves this page and gets back, we will be able to still fetch their status for the bookmark and for the like. And still detects if they have liked the post or not there you go can you see how that works and our views also works perfectly well now the la the next thing over here is the comments you can see that we currently have one comment you can go ahead and make a new comment you can you can't enter a name for a comment because as soon as you log in we automatically prefill your name over here so for your new comment you could just say something like thanks for this blog post and as soon as you hit post comments you will see it show posting and after some time see this is your comment over here thanks for this blog post guess the date when the comment was made guess the name of the person that made the comments the image of the user that made the comments and it clears out the comments box over here and as you can see the comments get the comments got appended without the page reloading which is very very nice if you'll be building modern applications all right that's very good with everything over here let me quickly show you how the dashboard works all you just need to do is click on this button over here to hop over to the dashboard all right this is our robust auto dashboard where they can see the total views that they have across all their posts the total posts that they currently have total likes total comments and then they can see all their posts over here in a quick list overview and they can manage their posts from over here they can also see all the comments that we have on the system and who made the comments and what the comment actually is they can also see notification whenever you drop a new comment we create notifications whenever you like a post we create notifications you can see this was the comments that just made now we made a comment and you can see it says deskfix at gmail.com commented on your post reacts js folder and we also showed the comments but then we will not be able to exceed this point over here but well, that's basically how the notification system works okay so now from here you could either create a new post or edit your profile or you could view a post delete a post or basically edit a post that already exists let me quickly create a post so you see how this will work so to go ahead and create a new post all you need to do is fill up the title the text the image and the category now to do that, you could just fill this in like this. And I'm using this extension called Fake Filler that automatically helps me fill forms. I'm not going to be adding any real title or any real description. I just want to show you guys that it works as it should. 
as you can see this is a rich text field you can make items bold you can italize items and i'll also show you how to add any other tool that you need over here in the toolbar okay just to make your blog posts look and feel very very human readable all right all right so you can also scroll down and select an image over here then i'll choose a category and all i need to do is go ahead and hit create posts as you can see as soon as a post gets created you can see that it redirects us to the post edit page where you can go ahead and change up the title or maybe the paragraph of the post its content or maybe select a new image and change up its category and then you can update your posts that's basically how the post creation works quite simple and straight to the point now i also want to show you how edit profile works so to edit the profile all you need to do is just enter the title of the profile and then you can enter your email address and maybe change up your bio data this over here is supposed to be a bio data okay but i just added anything F fsd 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 but you can add it you can change this up to whatever you want okay and you can also select a new profile picture and then save your changes and this works perfectly well so as you can see we've got the base features that's a blog application we need and basically everything that we need and that's going to be the version one of this course in the version two we'll get started integrating features based on on what you want to see so depending on the features that you want to see we'll go ahead and update this course and release its fashion too so let me know in the comment section let me know in the question thread what features would you want to see next what do you like about this blog post what don't you like what do you want us to format what do you want us to remove what do you want us to add so based on your feedback we'll be able to make this the best blog post but now that's going to be it let's get started with the very first lesson